What's up guys? JJ Ramos here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome again to JJ's Random Thoughts. Now, <clears throat> before we get to, to the nitty gritty of things, well, you know the drill. Right here? You see that? Huh? Okay, you see that right here. See that little thingy? Hit that to subscribe, then around somewhere here, around somewhere this screen, hit the bell so that you'll stay in the loop with regards to my channel. Okay? Now, I'm currently coming to you from uh, Robin the newly opened, alright? The newly opened Robinson's Gallery is out. Now it's been it's been it's actually been open for one week. And this is this is going to be the first video of, this will be my first video recording in this month. Alright. This will be the very first time I'm going to record a video or do live in this particular month. So I'm really I'm really fucked up right now. And of course, you got this, alright? I got this I got this lapel with you. Okay. <clears throat> now, mm, want some ice cream? Want ice cream? Now, I got a burning question for you guys. This concerns all entrepreneurs, all right? Not just the home-based ones, but the, but also the uh, ones ones that have franchise, those uh, franchisees, even traditional. Even owners of traditional businesses. Okay. My burning question is: Do you subject? Uh, do you allow yourselves to fall under certain entrepreneur traps? You know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean when it comes to uh, when I say entrepreneur trap. Okay. Uh, one, one good example of an entrepreneur trap is what we call shiny object syndrome, right? This afflicts network marketers mostly, right? Now, let me give you a backstory on that. I got lots of experience when it comes to shiny object syndrome, okay? I've been into this thing 26 years, okay? I've experienced shiny object syndrome uh, an N number of times. Okay. So, right before I uh, decided, decided to build my brand, uh, a former upline of mine offered me to to join his next to join his latest venture at that time. Uh, I was still with my I was still up to now I'm still currently active with my with my current network marketing business, and he still offered me this. Knowing that I'm still that I'm that I'm very much active in my in my current business, all right. I graciously turned him down. Okay? I said no because my priority right now is to build my brand. Okay. How can I build my brand if you're going to if that guy's going to offer me another business, right? That will take the focus off my brand. Plain and simple. So, burning question again. Do you experience entrepreneur traps? If you're an, if you're a home-based business person like me, or well, if, uh, if you run a traditional business or a franchisee, we experience these kinds of things on a daily basis. So, let me repeat the question again. Do you experience entrepreneur traps? If I'm going to answer that myself, my answer would be yes. Okay? A big fat yes. Now, the only way to curb, to avoid those entrepreneur traps, I can only sum it in just one word. Focus. Alright? F-O-C-U-S. With a capital F, alright? Focus for the capital M. That is your only weapon against those entrepreneur traps. If you're focused on, like, uh, like me, I'm building my brand right now. 
you're focused on your network marketing business, if you're focused on your traditional business, if you're focused on something, right? Do not allow these so-called entrepreneur traps to um, to make you drift away from that. Okay, just focus on just focus on your on just focus on your current business, uh, on your current brand, and everything will be fine. Okay. <clears throat> here's the thing. Here's the thing about uh, here's the thing about focus. Focus personally has helped me uh, as uh, has helped me say no, right? It has helped me learn the art of saying no. Okay, saying no is also an art form. All right. If you know what you want to do, if you know what you want to accomplish, if you know what you're passionate about. You'll eventually learn to say no okay, to some things. So, oh, and another thing: if you want to, if you want to truly focus on your on your chosen business or profession or brand, I strongly suggest that uh, what you call this? Oh, it's in the it's in it's in the tip of my tongue. Okay. To the tip of my tongue. Um, okay. <laughs> After figuring out through eating this brand of gelato <laughs> and what? Well, racking my brain cells a bit. The best way to keep the best way for entrepreneurs, okay, of any level, at any level, entrepreneurs at any level to Keep themselves focused is by learning the industry or the business he or she is in. Right? It should be a 24-7 matter. Okay, I should know. Because I, I am building my brand right now. I'm still learning after I'm still learning the ropes of how to build a brand. So that keeps me focused. That keeps me focused. Focus should be a 24-7 thing especially if you're an entrepreneur okay remember that so well that's my take on that burning question that's my take on the matter so remember if you don't want to fall into any kind of entrepreneur trap just focus okay <clears throat> now as always if it's a random thought it's open for discussion. So that's about it. And I might go, I might go into the grocery store to look for my mom and sis. So I need to I need to end this I need to end it right here. So thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next episode. Adios money and life movement.